What's going on, Switching Gears family? We headed out on another epic adventure. Today is Thursday, the 11th. And I'm going to do a short ride to Cherry Point, North Carolina, meet up with some buddies. And then we're going to head all the way to Northern Virginia for a retirement. This is the 18 CVO Road Glide Storm. She's all ready to go, warming up full of gas i got everything packed it's about 60 degrees right now should be a great day to ride in the 70s but we're about to get ready to head out as we get on the road i will bring you guys more and more footage stay tuned switching gears hey switching gears family what's going on back out here on the 18 road glide cbo storm and I'm headed to New Bern, North Carolina, around the uh, Cherry Point area. I'm going to meet a buddy of mine so we can head up to Northern Virginia and uh, go to one of our good friends' retirement. Over 20 years in the Marine Corps, he's headed out. And uh, I'm about 100 and I'm about 170 miles in, and it's a it's a beautiful day. Storm is saying uh, 70, 70 degrees outside. Let me ramp her down a little bit. Start speeding up a little bit so I can pass by some of those big trucks. But Storm is saying 70 degrees outside. And we got a lot of bikes heading south right now. Uh, of course, you know, it's Daytona Bike Week and I'm coming from South Carolina, headed up north. So a lot of the bikes from up north are headed south. So over on the left side of 95, I'm seeing bikes pass by. And uh, so far, I'm the only bike that's going north. And like I said, everybody else is going south. I hope you had a chance to check out my review on the Icon Patrol 2 boots. Uh, if you didn't, go to my channel and check that video out. Give it a like if you like it. Consider subscribing. But I wanted to bring that up just to show you. I'm riding in the Icon boots right now. I mean, perfect boot. The perfect boot for all around, summer and winter wearing. Very comfortable. I left this morning at about, uh, right at 60 degrees. And now we're at 70. And I, just, I don't have an issue. Like I said, easy to put on, lightweight. They don't look like the traditional motorcycle shoe. Uh, good grip. And best of all, they got that bowl lacing system. Let me get around this truck right here. That's a good tip right there, um, you guys that are riding. Don't ride behind or beside those big trucks. And you never know what's going to come off of them. <clears throat> I was riding one time and um, one of those trucks lost one of the tires up under it. Uh, it actually popped and shredded and it started throwing shrapnel uh, rubber shrapnel all over the road hey hey and some of that could bounce back and hit you in the bike and cause a serious accident or hit you in the head and take you off the bike so don't ride by don't ride behind them and throttle around them get away from them let them on the road and then once you are in a safe distance get back to your regular cruising um, speed and relax but like I said, man, this is a great ride. Couldn't ask for a better day. Temperatures are good. Um, the roads are clean and clear for the most part. I'm in North Carolina right now. Again, it's a, it's a Thursday morning, uh, March the 11th. And it's great. Hey, everybody else is at work and I'm out here on the bike getting me some wind. You, you, you can't beat it. So I'm gonna do a little bit more riding and just enjoying myself. I'm going to kind of be quiet and let you guys enjoy the scenery. But I um, want to talk about some upcoming videos I have on the channel. When I get back from this trip, I will be doing a review on the KST 16-inch Vanguard barge that I have here. I'm also going to be doing a review on the Ultimate Seat. I got, I got almost 2,000 miles on it now. 
Well, after this trip, it'll be about 2,000. So I think I can give a good review on it. Uh, so that'll be another review coming up. And then I'm going to go ahead and get you guys my 1,000-mile review on the Legend Revo A rear shocks that I installed about 500 or so miles ago. And like I said, by the time we end this trip, this trip is going to be almost 700, a little bit over 700 miles round trip. So by the time I end this trip right here, I have a thousand miles on those Revo A's. And I'll give you my initial impression of those. Well, I can tell you my initial impression is they're awesome. But I'll go into a little bit of a, a detail of kind of about how I adjusted them, how I set my sag, and uh, just how they compare to the original Harley Davidson shocks. Um, and whether I think that you should invest into a pair. So that's three reviews that will be coming up on the channel. And I also will have an announcement coming up on the channel. We have another build. Oh, that's the uh, navigation. We have another build coming up on the channel. I just went picked up another bike uh, yesterday. So stay tuned for that. I think you're going to really like it. It's one of those time capsule bikes. Um, super, super low miles. Beautiful. It's one of my favorite. I'll tell you right now, it's the 100th anniversary. If you look at my channel, I love 100th anniversary Harleys. I've owned about five of them. And um, I just love the paint scheme. I've never owned the blue, the blue and silver. I'm looking for one. If you know somebody that got one, send them my way. Um, I've had the, the black and silver and the silver on black, but never the blue. But uh, so I got another 100th anniversary Harley. We're gonna do a, you know, cosmetic and mechanical build. The engine is fine, transmission is fine, but I'm gonna go through and add some upgrades. Looking at maybe a different cam and stuff like that. Also, um, you know, wheels, tires, handlebars, some chrome pieces, a seat, LED lights, um, the exhaust. I mean, we're gonna go through it. I may do a build series, I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard for me to do build series sometimes because uh, I don't like to start and stop when I'm working and I'm the only one, uh, you know, working the camera. So sometimes it can kind of be hard. And plus, when I'm working on the bike, that's kind of my peace time. I, I, you know, I have my music playing and I'm in the um, Twisted Gears garage and I'm just kind of working. But I know you guys want to see that footage, so I'm going to try my best to do some type of a build series. So bear with me. Uh, definitely on the ha definitely dealing with the handlebars. If you guys have never done handlebars before, stop going to the dealership and giving them, you know, half of the cost of the handlebars on labor. You can do it at home in your garage. It's very simple. I've done them on new bikes. I did storm myself. I've done them on old bikes. And by no means am I a, uh, you know, mechanical genius. It just takes a little patience. Make sure you have a service manual and take your time and just follow step by step. But I may do a build video um, on the whole bike or I may just do it on certain sections of the bike like the handlebars and um, installing the cam or adjusting the clutch. So drop, drop some comments below as to what you may want to see or do you want to see the whole build or maybe just some. But I plan on having this bike done in three weeks. And that's with me working a full-time military job and coming home in the evenings with the family and still sitting down and, you know, getting the bike done. Three weeks, I'm going to have it done. I want to do a full detail. I got some new products I want to try as far as ceramic coating and ceramic wax and painting that I want to do on this bike. And then after that, we're going to enjoy it and then put it up for sale. Um, I, love, I love motorcycles. I love riding. I love all kinds of motorcycles. But I also love working on them and, and selling them as well. Uh, helping other people get into the motorcycle community by offering them an affordable bike and something that looks good. But who knows, this one here may may come out so good, I may hang on to it for a little while. The miles are super. All right, we're, in, um, we're headed towards New Bern, North Carolina. I just wanted to get you guys a little open shot. It is beautiful in North Carolina. I think I'm in Smithboro. We only got about 60 miles to go, so easy day. 
a 370 mile ride easy easy day I got the road glide set up for perfect riding like I said with the bars and the seat and the progressive shocks this has been an easy ride I cannot complain I feel like I can do another 300 miles so we're 54 miles outside of New Bern and I can't ask for nothing more the, the road glide is saying 73 is the temp outside I got on an under jacket and, a, and my summertime jacket and just my jeans with my icon patrol two boots and I'm comfortable this um, Shoei GT Air 2 is moving a lot of air even with the bench closed I can still feel a constant blow of wind all over my face I bought this helmet in the winter time so I've never um, had a summertime ride on it yet but I can already tell that it's going to move a lot of air in those uh, warmer days but other than that I'm going to let you guys enjoy some of the um, camera footage I got and I got my brother on the line with me so while you guys are enjoying the footage we're going to talk a little bit on the phone Hey, were you at work there? Oh, wow, Camden University. What's going on up there? Nothing? Hey, I'm gonna send you a I'm gonna send you a picture of this fuse that that guy got. I can't find it on Amazon. Yeah, you remember I told you that guy put uh, different fuels in my in my breaker box. I'm, I'm gonna show you a picture of the one that he used. Uh, it didn't have that. It didn't have that white ground wire on it. So I could just go any 20 amp fuse. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. It's a, it's still a eating fuse, but it just didn't have that wire on it. So what that that wire must be for the GFI. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that because that other fuse keep on going out and I don't know when they're gonna be able to come back and fix it. told me go to Home Depot because the, he said the fuses at Ace, they don't be no good. Big Larry's Cookers. Man, it's nice out here today. It's, a, it's nice out here today, man. Uh, let me see. I got 55 miles. 55 miles I'll be to his house. Yeah. I've been riding, um, uh, let me see, about four and a half hours. Nah, easy, that's an easy day. I had to stop one time for gas and, uh, you know, stretch out on the bike. Uh, I'm good now. I'm getting low on. I'm getting low on gas here in a little bit, so I'm gonna I'm pull over and get some gas, but other than that, that's about it. in Bear Creek, one mile to LaGrange. Oh, 
I tried to download some of that free music, but I don't know how to, um, you know, with the Mac, I don't know how to, un it, it, when it download, it be zipped up. Yeah, I was trying to unzip it, but when I try to drag and drop it into iMovie, it, it say it won't support it or, 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 or not transferable or something like that. Keep coming up with. Let me see how much gas I got. Oh man, I got I got about 38 miles. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get some gas. It's a lot of flat ground out here. All right, we'll be stopping to get some gas in a little while. I'll cut you guys back on, then we're going to end the trip. See you then.